Hey, are you ready for another f delicious four-course meal of Ben TV? Well, I'm starving, but I'm going to have to wait for my Inside Out and Squirrel Talk main meal and for my quiz and dessert because Squirrel just looks too good to pass over. Tonight's entree features Tab Tabitha getting her legs waxed, Daisy Lee getting into Kylie, and our new friend Renato checking out Midsummer. So, tuck into Mid... Pardon me. Tuck in to Squeal. Channel 31 wishes to advise viewers that our next program is classified MA and contains adult themes, sexual references. Repeating, our next program is classified for mature adults. This program is proudly sponsored by DT's Hotel, where every colour of the rainbow drinks, corner of Hyatt and Church Streets, Richmond. will bring all of you to a new understanding and valuing of life, a vision that inspires you to live and love on planet Earth. Like a priceless jewel buried in dark layers of soil and stone, Earth radiates her brilliant beauty into the caverns of space and time. Fast and furious clapping. Yes, hello, good evening, and welcome to this week's edition of Squirrel. I'm your host for the evening, the pen clicker, um, Paul. And, uh, yeah, we've got a huge show for you tonight. We've got some of my favourite people on the panel with me here tonight. Um, and uh, there's a few beauty tips coming up in the second segment, so stay tuned for that. And a very, very special guest, uh, surprise guest that we've... Uh, uh, no expense has been spared. Uh, to bring uh, the fabulous Daisy Lee, who's going to come in and do a little Kylie number for us, I think. Well, um, but first, let's get on right to the show and um, introduce our first panellist tonight. This is Monique, everyone, and uh, she's a new Bent TV volunteer, and this is her first uh, show today on Squeal, so welcome Virgin Squeal and Monique. Thank you very much. How are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Have you had a good week? I have had a brilliant week. Yes? Besides, I was a bit sick, but... Where? Yeah, it's, it's this weather. No one would know that we're um, actually having summer at the moment, would we? <coughs> no. And uh, down the other end of the panel, we have the fabulous Renato Moresco. Welcome back, Mar Marato. Renato. <laughs> Thank you. I've got the false Great teeth problem back. again. A special hello to Piggy and Barry in St Kilda. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, Piggy and Barry. Yes, welcome. Um, and Renato's going to talk to us more about what's been going on with the Midsummer uh, Festival. Um, unless you've been under a rock, uh, you would uh, know about that already. Um, and sitting right next to her, it's the, the rose between two thorns. It is her, the fabulous... Tabitha Turling, make her work. Whoa! Is something going on with my speech? I have to say, okay, <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> I love you It's really a sensational. I have to say a quick hello to Ben and Josh. I was down in Geelong, I think, two weeks ago. Hi. <laughs> and um, they showed me an exceptionally good time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a I'd like to say hello to my mother. <laughs> And my oh, mother. My, and your mother. You're a mother. Okay, what, what have we got going on? Mm. We're going to um, go straight over to you, I think, straight off, Renato, and we'll talk about what's been going on with Midsummer this sure. week. Sure. Yeah? Well, this is our final week of Midsummer, and uh, Midsummer will finish on Sunday, the 6th of February, with the fabulous Carnival Day, which is on at the, ex at the Alexandra Gardens uh, in Melbourne, just near the Art Centre. So it's a fabulous day. It starts at 10.30 a.m. We have special aerobics instructor Michael East who will have a special uh, aerobic session for us. Then the same old Carnival Day that we've all become accustomed to. We have a wonderful lineup of performers, including Mitchell Butel from Sydney, uh, Titus, Deb Morrow, and the wonderful <laughs> Vanessa Amorosi. What? Performing You're at joking. Carnival. Everybody, oh everybody. God, exactly. Oh, so Vanessa heaven. will be there, Come and around. Vanessa will also be there signing autographs. So <gasps> if you want to come down to Carnival to see Vanessa, do come down. <laughs> Yes, and photos signed as well. So we're very lucky to have the fabulous Vanessa Amorosi. So that's Sunday, 6th of February. 
Then can I just give a quick rundown of what's happening the week ahead yep. or in, in midsummer? This We've is got the last the, week now. It's the last week of midsummer, so if you haven't seen anything yet, people, do grab the midsummer guide from uh, venues around town or check out the midsummer website. But a special event this Wednesday night at the Fun Factory in Turak Road is Gay Skate, which starts at 7 30 pm. What night? Can we wear wrong Wednesday. Uh, uh, bring no. them along, but well. see. I'm not sure it's, you <laughs> can get your roller skates <laughs> there. No, they yeah, they probably let you. So that's down just. at the Fun Factory in Turak Road <laughs> this Wednesday at 7 30 pm. In our literature program this week, we have a special discussion called Screening of My One-Legged Dream Lover, <laughs> which is a discussion of sexability of disability from the point of view of <laughs> amputees and their devotees. Ah, fabulous. Everybody has to have a go. Yes, definitely. Um, then we also have the relationships <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Perfect. Can we cut this <laughs> now? <laughs> mom, You're making mom, me mom. laugh. Relationships hypothetical. We'd better come back to me later. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's um, just move on to a little few other bits and pieces. There's a uh, few different things. Oh, this was interesting. This week, um, I can't tell which paper it was in, but um, people smoking marijuana to cope with cancer and um, HIV AIDS may soon be able to use a nicotine style patch, which I don't think, um, you can imagine the black market in that. Oh yeah, I'll have a, a gram of patches please. A green patch. <laughs> yeah, but um, it'd be like Patsy recharging them for me, but anyway, I'm not going to say. So that's a really good thing for um, people with cancer and HIV that, uh, that will be available to them um, without any legal recriminations, which will be nice, I What's think. What's the difference actually than smoking it or patching it or eating it? Well, I suppose it's just the legal ramifications, uh, as in what it does to you? No, as in, why, why does it make a difference if I stick it on my arm it's or if you smoke it? It's more socially acceptable, I suppose. I'd probably be canvassing like an 80-year-old woman with a bong like at the tram <laughs> stop. <laughs> Patches hidden. You can't see the patch. That's right. You can get away with it. I've got patches. I'm stunned. Hello, darling. I'm a bit stoned. Can you get my patch out for me? One senior's plus and a couple patches. Do you scratch them? Now, Renato, have you composed yourself sufficiently enough? Everyone. We've also got the Summer Soiree, which is the Melbourne Gay and Lesbian Orchestra, which is on at the David Williamson Theatre. Uh, another great event to go to is the Relationships Hypothetical, which is being presented by Julie McCrossan. And she will guide ten prominent members of the gay and lesbian community through a tangled and tawdry web of lost laughter and legalities. And that's on at the Brunswick Town Hall on the 3rd of February at 7pm. And that's our Midsummer lineup. Fabulous. Thank that's you, Renata. Fantastic. That's Thank you. Great. Um, and of course, we've all been to um, Pride March, which was yesterday. Yeah, wasn't it great? Oh, yeah. I love it that. It was fantastic. See, I did, um, I did flips all the way down. The did thing, you? Yeah, high kicks and stuff. Oh, I heaven. thought that was. <laughs> I was getting photos all the time. You were dark on a bike? No, no, no. I was hiding behind a camera taking photos. Fabulous. The new Digi camera, you know, and sending out them by email. It's blackmail, blackmail. Oh, <laughs> I've got you, I've got you on cam. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Uh, don't forget, guys, that um, during the um, Midsummer Festival, that um, Joy FM are on for the whole time. That is correct, correct, isn't it, Renata? Yes. Um, talking of Midsummer once again, the website is just up uh, there. It is there. www.midsummer.org. Org.au. <laughs> oh, and if you were free online, you can go to that one for nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's um, have. So when's some... the park thing? Uh, when's that park thing? 6th of February, Sunday, 6th of and February, what Alexander it start? Gardens, 10 30 a.m. early session. Now, wow. I, I must say that every year, because I, I drive in, absolutely shocking. I think there's a tram now. That you, yes, uh, that's, Alexandra Gardens. Leave yes. your car at home, I think, and get the tram down. Is that the parking down. thing, the carnival we're discussing? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's just. Yes. I was actually. I turned last time, went back. <laughs> to um, the commercial road pub. I went, ooh! <laughs> I was furious, yeah. And yeah, then I caught the tram down. It was a much more enjoyable experience for myself. Well, that's a lesson learned for everyone. Don't take your car. No. Take public transport. There you go. Now, Monica, have you got anything interesting there? I do have you an do? interesting article. Hairy problem in the mind. It was about 
bad hair days. And this article is actually saying that if you have a bad hair day, mental mayhem may occur. And that your self-esteem may be lowered. Do we all agree with that? Well, ask Paul. He's a perfect example <laughs> of today, of that topic. Having That's a bad good. hair day. JFL. Bag breaks from a bush backwards. And personally, I can't leave the house without product in my hair. I need product. a product in my hair. I need it there. It's, nice it's got to be all product. in the one place. If I'm not, you know, being thrown onto TV or flown <laughs> you into interstate, Normally to Tasmania to do the things I do down there, mm. the cattle farm. I, yeah, I, I just like to keep it relaxed, like a, a high pony and then a sloppy joe. Oh, I have the day off and I still put product on my head just in case that one person comes to my door. I can't be caught unaware. Like don't, you answer, don't, you bad don't answer bear. the door. The, you can see right through my house, glass all the way. Because they should hide. ring if they, they want to come hide. over. It's in a fishbowl. Okay. Do you like product free days? <clears throat> yes, I've been giving up product to save money. No. <laughs> no, but you enjoy just like having that floppy hair. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it, it's not every day, like not Sunday. Like if, oh, every day, every day. If you had a big night up the next day, it's gonna be like every oh. day. Do you limit day. product to just hair on your head? Oh, not everything. Like, sometimes you just don't want to do anything. Is that, is that, is I think it just right? sort of taps everything in, like, keeps the brain and keeps everything going. Jeez, and just wake funny. up, straight into the shower, the product goes on. But I must admit, when, when I've had a blow, oh I do feel mighty God, special. What are you people talking about? Can anyone tell that we didn't have our first guest turn up for our first segment today? <laughs> Bad hair always Talking works. about product. Oh, that's right. We were talking about that, <laughs> weren't we? It's a news Look, item. Been a bit of a news flash. Um, Mr. Tasmania. Um, has been announced as the winner of the Mr. Gay Australia competition. <gasps> so there you go. We got a photo. We haven't got a photo because it's a news flash. It came in on the carrier. Well, picture. I'm actually the judge of that because I actually did Mr. Gay Melbourne, of course, here in Melbourne. And our boy from um, Melbourne <laughs> was sensational. So I'm, that Tasmania must have been quite sensational to beat our Dean because he was just a prince. Charming. Can I say that you did a fabulous job um, hosting that thing? You can lick my bum if you like. What? Thank you. <laughs> okay. No, it was. It's very enjoyable. No Christmas, no PG. I had a lot of fun. <clears throat> The aerobic session of sport thing was a bit worrying. Some of the boys were a bit of a worry, I must say. I actually, show. I had to stop because I didn't mind doing the aerobics, but when they put the camera up my body, <laughs> and of course I've got it, yeah, I had to stop. Yeah. It was a bit too close. Stop immediately. Recently they had the Miss Lesbian on for the first time or second time. Oh, that's that was, great. Yeah, so it was quite Who interesting. Won that? Right? Won't it be fantastic um, when that is as high profile as coincide together the gay it's like One men's thing. and women's sport yep. men's yes. sport gets too much attention it does. Too much. well as you can hear by that music which really doesn't mean anything here on the bed tv <laughs> i'd like to go as well you'd know you'd like to be i like the loop. i think that'd be good i'd, I'd like well, it was quite an entertaining night really but um we needed um, some more real contestants. They sort of just grabbed them up from the night, and it wasn't prepared, and it could be a very great thing. Yeah, no, well, yeah, sure. well, next we'll see it. Come on, so lesbians, we'll let's do it. We'll talk more about that when we get back. <laughs> um, and also, Tabitha, I think you're going to have a bit of depilitarisation done, aren't you? Bye. <laughs> you are the and pences. You gotta mess with the lower frequencies. The lower you go, the more you show you know how to do it. Keep the frequency low. I'll tell you how to make yourself some pounds and pences. You gotta mess with the lower frequencies. The lower you go, the more you show you know how to do it. Keep the frequency low. The lower you go, the more you show you know. The lower you go, the more you show you know. We're back. No clapping. I wish everything in life was that easy. I could just ask for it and it was given to me. Um, okay, welcome back to our second segment. And, uh, oh, you can't see anything that's going on down there, but we have some bits and pieces. Oh, there we go. A lovely pair of legs. There. The oh. 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 That doesn't hurt. Right. All right, let's do some community announcements first, and then we can come back to... Uh, What's going down? Uh, down in, what's going down? What's going down in front of us here? Okay. Um, we've, 
We've got um, just this first one here, a monthly drop-in and uh, support group for uh, gay, bi guys um, aged 18 and under is starting up um, and they're, they're going to hold those sessions on Saturday afternoons in the city. Um, and if you want to find out more, call Jim on 98656700. That's for 18 and under. Um, it looks like it's only boys at the moment, which is a bit... Um, but that's cool too, because we all need our support groups, and yes. I'm sure there's a support group out there for um, underage lesbians too. It sounds funny saying underage lesbians. Underage, it underage lesbians and it gays. It makes it sound like it's illegal. It does, yeah. doesn't it? Um, <coughs> underage. <laughs> Yeah. There's an interesting thing on that too, because there was an article that, somewhere yeah, before. They, there was they, some was um, South Australia? New South, uh, Western Australia. You could be a gay boy at 18 and a, and a lesbian at 16. Yeah. We get an extra two years practice. I don't understand that at all. Yeah. All right, as usual, we are looking for volunteers to come in and uh, be part of the Ben, T ben TV group. Um, and you can do this in a, 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 a numerous ways, um, either by ringing us here on, where, sorry, there we are, 966-35902, or for those techno queens out there, you can email us at bent-tv at bent-tv.com, or also you can um, write to us the old-fashioned way there, and that's care of Bent TV. P.O. Box 2248 Paran 3181. We're always interested in what you guys have to say to us out there. We're not getting many letters um, or, or sort of phone calls um, on anything, you know, that you want to talk to us about with Bed TV here, what we're doing. We did have a call from David from Strathmore, um, and uh, he just says that to keep up the good work, and thank you for the... <laughs> Thank you for the um, Jawson Creek updates, which is cool because um, we're all waiting for Jawson Creek to come back on, of course. Um, and he says that our next challenge is to secure gay rights in the schools, which I agree with totally. Now, um, coming up, also I just want to talk about this, which is part of the Midsummer um, Festival, is the Positive Lives exhibition. Um, you people get down if you're um, interested in having a look at some um, photography. Um, it's about people um, and the effects of HIV AIDS has on their lives. And uh, have you seen that? Yes, it's a very moving exhibition. I really thoroughly recommend it. And that's in Brunswick? Yeah, the Brunswick Town Hall. Yeah, OK, fabulous. So get down there. And that closes on the 20th of February, it says here. So um, Got a couple more weeks. Yeah, we've got some extra weeks there. That's good that things sort of go outside that yes, summer yeah. thing too, so that people... Because there's so much to see. Mm. On. Is there any, like, number of events... Like, do you have a total number 110. Of There's 110, 110 official midsummer <laughs> events. That's amazing. There's and, a and lot how many, to do. What, what year is this? This is our 12th year. Yeah. And, and it started off the first year. What, it was oh, really I think it was tiny, just half a was, dozen, yeah. probably, things. It's I think it was mainly just a street party and fair day, and it's grown from there. Yeah. Let's see what um, Pride March turns into in another few years. Now, next week, people, we have an extra super duper show. And, um, I'm putting on a bit of a love here. Oh, see, so yeah. there's no shots on. But there used to be someone on this TV show that used to wear a pair of leather gloves and say, all right, girls, up against the wall, it's time for search. <laughs> and was a screw. Oh, yes, that's right. screws. If everyone's been looking at the media, you would have known that there was a prisoner reunion that went on just recently, um, and all the girls got together, and it was uh, for a prisoner reunion and also for HIV AIDS. Um, awareness and fundraising. So, and we have a coup here at Bet TV. We actually have some of the girls from the prisoner show, three of them, I'm getting three fingers held up at me, um, that are going to come in and uh, see us next week. So, uh, make sure you uh, tune in for that one because it's going to be huge. Now, right now, I'm going to go down here and talk now that I've kitted up here. I'm going to come down here and talk to our uh, special guest today. And I've just realised that I don't have. My microphone plugged in at all for that whole segment, so I'm really surprised that anyone can hear me at all. Oh no. So I'll just plug me back in. <laughs> We're right there in the, uh, in the studio. Okay, now this is Nancy, and uh, Nancy is a trained beautician, so she told us. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think about that, Tabitha? Nancy, no, I'm yeah. 
Nancy's a witch. Samantha from Bay Witch was a lovely witch. Which is your favourite also show. Also a lovely witch. That's right. Um, this is Nancy, who is a friend of um, our executive producers, Stevens, and um, she's been roped in to come in here today and torture Sorry. this poor um, superstar that we have here on our lovely table. Now, what have you done so far here, Nancy, apart from... We've done the fronts of one leg. In flip you so you're just doing a half We're doing leg up wax, to the aren't knee. we? Yep, we're doing up to the knee. Can and you... she's handling this really well. You, do... you are doing very well. Tab says that she normally sits here with a smoke. It takes her an hour to do that. <laughs> but um, we've got in there, ripped them all off. You've gloved up so we're done. Yes. yes, so what we're going to do is I'm going to hand here. the spatula over to you. <laughs> See, when I say glove, I think love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> no gloves. There you go. No love. All right. So um, I'm. Okay. Just, just apply. <laughs> this is the first. Actually, I used to. I no, used to, downwards. I used to. Down that way. Wax my ex-husband's back, and that was something very enjoyable. There it was you go. a hairy brick too. So I use it on that same side. Yeah. Just press it down. Okay, and we Hold use the skin it on. Firm. We're holding the skin firm, and I'm holding from this way. No, down this way. <laughs> Hold down firm that way. So Are you left or right handed? I'm right handed. Okay. So I'm doing so this right. The skin and, and pull. Is <laughs> that all right? Shit, you didn't tell me how I was going to have to do that to it. He's going to kill me afterwards. Um, I. The price you girls pay for beauty, I tell ya, I don't know so much. I've had my eyebrows done once, <laughs> and I just, uh, you know that thing, when, when queens pluck their eyebrows and they're, it's too short, it it's just looks obvious. really queeny. But it, it wasn't too bad, because I told her that I like the Book Shields look, but it was the pink for the day and a half oh, afterwards that I couldn't deal like with. Like wearing eye makeup. A uh, pink eyeshadow, I couldn't deal with it at all. And as you can see by, they're actually not too bad then. They're not. They're, they're very. They're coming out very good. Let's keep the crown jewels covered if we can. Okay. Do you want to pull, pull? Oh. No. No. Go on. Enough. You do it. I think that we need a. Okay. And how long have you been um, doing these sorts of treatments? It's the third day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for about twenty years. Twenty years. Yep. And you've just about had enough, haven't you? I have had. <laughs> I had stopped. I mean, until... there's. Steve decided to get me back into the show. There's really only so much pubic hair you can rip off bodies before you get sick of it, really, isn't there? What's your most grotesque job that you've done? I think that's probably a good one. Grotesque job? Yeah. Um, my very first wax yeah. was in a city salon. Keep your legs down. I'm talking for one. No, that's okay. <laughs> Keep your legs down. We'll continue waxing. Oh, get it in, in there. a city get it salon. Get done with. Yep. And I had a lady come in. And mind you, this was my first wax. So she wanted her bikini line shaped in a love heart. Oh, romantic. And Valentine's I was very, I can't remember, but I just remember being very nervous about it. <laughs> so. I call that pubic hairdressing. And there's a salon in Amsterdam that specialises in that. Um, I remember seeing something on SBS. Um, I'm going to go back and join that rest of the panel. And, um, I'm you sure getting... you don't want to pull off one more strip? Um, no. no. I don't think that Tabitha and I need to share that sort of experience with each other. I much prefer to um, have fun talking with Tabitha than causing her pain. All right, now, um, Monique, you wanted to air something, didn't air, you? Air something. I've got, I've got this, this flyer that somebody gave to me. And um, over here, over here. And it, it's a damp and dirty ball. And, and, and what's happening is that the lesbians are getting together and doing, doing a computer matching scheme for Valentine's Day while we're on the topic of love hearts. Mm. And they've got some pretty rotten questions in here. And personally, I don't think I could join. But anybody out there who'd like to go, go look for one of these flyers. I'm sure you'll have a ball. Absolutely. Have, have you seen the questions on here? What is the main thing for you look for in a partner? Hot, bod and cool attitude. Good sense of humour and sparkling personality. Big tits. Not sure. Usually meet them when blind drunk. I mean, I couldn't answer something like that. Could you? Um, is this a lesbian and gay thing? or is it It's a, a lesbian thing, I think. Just a I lesbian. could be wrong. I could be wrong. Don't, don't hold me to that. But, um, well, that's good. They've got the Just humor a lesbian. Matching. Just a lesbian. Yeah, but I won't go, but go and have a ball. Uh. You can wear ties too, or dresses. Or so, 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 so right too, now, another little community announcement. There was a warning in the newspaper this week for people uh, not to uh, swim near Port Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Why? Um, because I think there might be some e. number twos. <laughs> which is from E. coli, it's from yeah. number twos. Yeah. 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 In, in the, the bay there. So, um, all you queens, stay away from Screech Beach, Please otherwise you'll have nasty... Like they like <laughs> Can we say that word on television? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, and another little horror story that has just um, uh, taken my view today is the fact that David Jones looked like they're going to be building um, a store in St Kilda. Oh, oh so it's store. Which is just what St Kilda needs, I think. More <laughs> corporate garbage um, and more hideous buildings. So, um, yes, down there on the, uh, the corner, um, the old Caltech station is going to be turned into a David Jones store. So there's no other store. So there we go. And um, the other thing that really got me, apart from Pete Sampras, <laughs> on um, and as, uh, Tabitha likes Pete as well. We were discussing this before the show. I think you nearly uh, showed everyone what you had for breakfast again, Tabitha. But anyway, um, fabulous game, Pete and um, Andre on Wednesday night. It was um, five setter that just went through the roof. I, it was one of the most exciting games that I've watched. So that was huge on the TV this week. But the other thing that I saw, which was a, a real horror story, was this, um, the hospital siege that they had um, with the um, rebels, the God's Army rebels. Um, and they found out that it, the whole thing was run by these two 12-year-old twin boys um, that are deemed to be mystical and, and have special, um, special powers and stuff, which it's just... Um, 12-year-old kids okay. shooting guns and smoking fags like he'd been doing it for 20 years. All right, we're getting to the end of this segment here Yay! now, which um, you can <laughs> hear that Tabitha done. Tabitha's right. very happy that, yeah. that, that, that that's all over and done with. We're getting the wrap-up. Wrap up. Nancy, thank you very much for coming in. And thank you. Taking your life in your hands. And if you ever see this girl in the street and you're unprotected, run. <laughs> we'll be back uh, with our very super-duper special. <laughs> at the fabulous Daisy Lee. Yeah, stay tuned. Bye. Channel 31 brings you Melbourne's weather forecast. Tomorrow will be fine, a mainly sunny day with a light wind tending moderate northeasterly. There'll be afternoon and evening sea breezes with an overnight low of 15 degrees and a maximum of 31 degrees Celsius. Wednesday will experience a late change with a minimum of 19 and a maximum of 34 degrees. Thursday will be fine, a minimum of 19 degrees and a maximum of 31 degrees. And Friday will be mainly fine with an overnight low of 18 and a maximum of 38 degrees. Free. <laughs> I was going off there at that music because it's a bit hardcore, dude. Okay, we're back. This is it, the final segment. And um, how are you doing, Tabs? You all right? I'm fine. Cheese and rice, love. I thought you were going to rip my head off in that last bit there. That was a bit... You didn't see in the break when they finished doing her legs to you. It was even scarier. Anyway... We've spoken a bit now about the Bent TV questionnaires, um, and I've got a, actually a list of where they are available at. Cafe 151, the Outlook Cafe, uh, Bar 44, DT's Hotel, the Star Hotel, and the Laird, spelt with an E. <laughs> the Laird A. Laird A. <laughs> That's in the Paris end of the episode, yes. isn't it? Laird A. Yeah, so... so um, and it's Club you, A. Club A. <laughs> with that little thing above it. Um... Uh, if you see the, the questionnaires and the boxes, look for the boxes first. They look remarkably like a lady's sanitary napkin disposal unit. Um, and they've been painted a lovely colour with a bed TV sort of looking thing on it. This is what we want, though. We don't really care what the boxes look like. We want to hear what you guys think of us. And we've got a few that have come back in here. Um, and uh, how could we improve our only queer television station? More equipment to improve quality. Well, I think that is probably the understatement of the year. But uh, that uh, said, 
we really do appreciate you guys taking the time to fill these out, um, and they will be gone over and read, and um, and we will take on what you've got to say. Um, and also, can Paul's mum please stop writing in more Paul, more Paul, more Paul? Okay, three thousand. Quite enough. Quite enough. Thank you very much. Now, um, as I, I was on the net this morning looking for some, I was actually looking for a, a photo of no um, room? Pete. Oh, yeah, Sam Price. I wanted a lovely and photo. The washboard, we were talking about that. <coughs> oh, and the t-shirt and the hair. All right. Anyway, and um, I came across the age, and I was looking at that, and they had that, you know, the odd spot in the paper. And there was just this one that really jumped out at me. In Townsville, um, this Easter girls, there is a, a stra uh, the Australian Bad Bitch Challenge. Wow. Which I think you'd be lining up for. There is a $10,000 <laughs> prize for, it's a winner-take-all fighting contest for, for women. As in fisticuffs. In this, oh. in this day and age. In the, and apparently there's a few <laughs> feminists true. that are upset. So, um, uh, one other one. There's a, a married couple in Budapest that are receiving hormone treatment at the moment because they're both swapping sex. Oh, well, you do, don't you? Both. I never have. But um, that's really interesting too. Okay. It's the moment that we've all been waiting for with bated breath. <gasps> we are going to be um, shown now a... a a number by a fabulous personality. Some of you know her, some of you don't. Let's uh, hear it now for the fabulous Miss Daisy Lee. Take it away, Daisy. Fabulous Daisy Lee, look out for her on um, the uh, big screen soon. Um, there was uh, a few other bits and pieces that we wanted to get through, but first, Monique, I want you to do what you don't want to do and talk about that article <laughs> that right. uh, was brought up to um, today. Um, just one thing before you do. It's a very good lesson that people need to... It, it is a good lesson. ...watch what they say and watch what they do That's before right. they okay. put things in we, print. We, we have an article here, and um, I'll just read it out to you, and I'll read out the whole little bit that we were actually discussing here, and it's, we're hoping for a good cross-section in the community. Sensational, says Portelli. It's a great gay and lesbian event, not a lesbian and gay event. 
What's that all about? I don't, no, and then, and then no. it just kind of keeps on going, but we don't even have to bother with that, mm. do we? I mean, no, it's, it's just said there. That pretty much says. <laughs> Come on, lesbians. He, 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 he continues. I know I will continue because I think we should. Damn it. He says, he says do, you, do you understand what I mean? I don't think anyone does. I mean, I think it's important to see the semantics of it. It's a gay event and lesbians are there as well. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad, isn't it? I just can't understand. Like, it just kind of makes us feel like lesbians are lepers. Like, a lesbian's put gay. bells on our ankles. <laughs> and, like, a lesbian's gay. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I've been told. I've heard the rumour. There's gay men and gay women, and then there's yeah, lesbians. lesbians and transgenderists. And then there's poofters. It's all different. Yeah. Poofs, yep, depends who you talk to. I'll just put the bells on my ankles when I go down. Yeah, to make it cute. Would have been really ding, ding, nice ding. if we could have an equally um, attended gay and lesbian dance party. That'd be really nice. Let's all partner up. Let's Don't leave the dance party. Apparently not. Apparently not. But I have been known to be at a dance party before. Oh, I've been spotted there once or two times. Frequented les uh, I've seen frequent lesbians, I was going to say, at, at dance parties before. Yes. Um, and 300 straight people. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, straight muscle men. That's <clears throat> probably why I don't go anymore. Don't but have anyway. meat market. <laughs> there is a few other bits and pieces. First, we have a little birthday wish Cheerio to send out. Yes, that's right. Hiding behind camera one there. On Monday, uh, which is tonight, haha, <laughs> today, it's uh, <laughs> the president of Bird to Vu, um, David Johnson Bell's birthday. So a big happy birthday to David. Uh, apparently 24. Yep. All right. Next. Okay. <laughs> um, now, have you got anything else that you wanted to share with us, Tabitha, or is that you over and out for bits? I think I'm fine, actually. Yeah? Thank you very much okay. for asking. Good. What, we were going to, um, we were searching for issues this week and um, I decided that this week's issue is going to be about friendship and I want you all to sort of say what friendship and how important friendship is to you. I mean, I've had um, relationships and jobs, etc., houses come and go, but I, there's only a, a handful of people in my life that I can consider close friends and I couldn't do without them, so oh. they're really important to me. And, and friendship to me means, one, never having to say I'm sorry. Um, it's just understanding... You know, people always get so caught up about not ringing and, you know, we didn't see you and you never ring me and I all like that sort of stuff. Yeah, I like saying sorry. I do. I do like to say sorry. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? There's an understanding. I've got a yes. girlfriend that I grew up with and we will not see each other for six months. Won't talk to each other for six months. As soon as we get on the phone, it's like we spoke yesterday. And there's just that understanding. It's never, oh, you, it's, you bastard, you never rang me or anything like that. It's always we embrace that we're actually talking to each other and, and just... There's never any of that, and that's what true friendship is to, to me about. And, and yeah, let's. Um, what do you reckon, mate? Oh, I, I agree with you, but I do like saying sorry because then then you can actually ad admit your your wrongings and you say, okay, sorry, I stuffed up, but mm. you you understand me. And you know, just to actually say it and express it also means a lot. Yes. And every now and then, if you've really really stuffed up. Send a bunch of flowers or a card, and, and you know that's where it really hits. Mm -hmm. And you know it's not being you know sucky or anything, but it's yeah, it's a good thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Renato, what do you? Oh, you do need to say sorry. I called my <coughs> friend Shabby Flabby on Saturday, <laughs> and I did say sorry because she asked me to. <laughs> that's very nuts. What a friend indeed you are. Send her the flowers. Chris calls me Flabby Tabby all the time. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've got, I've got a lot of... Am I there or there? Okay, thanks, darling. <laughs> that makes me looking blonde and stupid. I just want to look stupid. Now, because friends are very, very important to me, I've got, like, a handful in there that I, I speak to them genuinely, you know, once a week, and I couldn't get through the week without them. And all the other millions and fans and crap mean nothing. Mm. Absolute diddly shit. It's your friends at the end of the day and your family. I think it's the most important. Yep. And there are times when you are over the line and you don't need to say sorry. But then if it's something small, sorry can be nice, but your friend should understand mm. that's just me being me. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, so um, embrace your friends. And, um, and, and don't, uh, people get caught up too with people. Um, you know when friends, you grow away from people? Um, and I'm going through that with, thing, with yeah. a certain um, married couple at the moment and, I, and not, they're not dealing with it at all. And to me, it's not really anything. It's just that happens, you know. You move on, you get married, you have children and I don't want to see you again. Um, OK, now, I'm just going to show the uh, Bent TV um, phone numbers and uh, email address again. This is it. Give us a call here, 966 
um, or give us, drop us a line at uh, squeal, care of Bent TV, PO Box 2248, Paran 3181. All right, well, we're, um, there's not much more going on and we are being wrapped up quite dramatically. I'd like to once again thank you, Renato, for coming in today oh, and pleasure. for the whole of Midsummer. Oh, thank you for thank a fabulous you. job that you've done and, and keeping us very informed all the time here. We love pleasure. Midsummer. You are more than welcome <laughs> back any other time. Oh, you don't, it doesn't really? have to be Midsummer. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Monique. And uh, you got through that really cool today. The thank first you one. You're all right. Come on, volunteers. That's like right. Me. Okay. Don't forget Carnival. Um, and we've had Friday, March 6th of February is Carnival. Tap for Turlington, what can I say? Last time you see my nose. Oh, oh. That's, oh, big scoop, big scoop. We have it here first. The next time you'll see us, you'll have a new proboscis, which is a technical term for nose. We're out of here. Stay tuned. Gillian's coming up next. Bye. This program is proudly sponsored by DT's Hotel, where every colour of the rainbow drinks, corner of Hyatt and Church Streets, Richmond. Bruce, we've got...